Hey basketball players, today I'm going to talk to you about how you can win more one-on-one -on -one basketball games. Let's get down to it. So whether you're trying to beat a little kid or a professional basketball player, these strategies are essentially the same. So I'm going to tell you how I got my strategies or where I got my strategies from. I got my strategies from watching Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant playing one-on-one -on -one games on YouTube. This is where I got my strategies from. And one of the things that you will notice if you go and watch their games is you'll notice that they try to keep their dribbles to a minimum. The other thing you're going to notice is they're going to try and set up the defender to do something and they're going to, uh, they're going to exploit that and attack that weakness. And then what you're also going to notice is they play really weak on offense. They try to not exert too much energy on the offensive side, and they really work hard on the defensive side. Now, if you're watching them play a little kid, they're not gonna be trying at all. But if you actually watch them, if they're playing, when they're, those games where they're playing against other NBA players or other adults who actually know how to play, they don't exer overly exert themselves on the offense, but they work extremely hard on the defense. Now, why is that? Well, obviously their offensive game can speak for itself. It's very easy for them to score. But on the defensive side, if they can stop the other player from scoring, they're gonna win more games. So keep that in your mind. So number one on the defensive side, what you wanna do, you don't wanna try and force a player one way or the other way, because what that's essentially doing for you is allowing that player to attack your upper foot or attack the direction you're not facing. What you want to do on defense is to play the player straight up. The only time you want to play in a forceful manner to try and force a player one way is if you're playing on a team and what you're trying to do here is to try and force that offensive player who may be a really good offensive player into a double team or into a trap along the sidelines. When you're in one-on-one, -on -one, you don't have that privilege. So what you wanna do is face that player straight up, obviously get low up on your toes, but you wanna be facing him straight up. You wanna get him laterally to the sidelines. You don't wanna allow him to have any path towards the basket. Now, when I'm playing one-on-one, -on -one, and now I'm not in the greatest of shape anymore, I used to be, but when I, when I play one-on-one, -on -one, the one thing I want every single player to do on the offensive side is to dribble around, try to break my ankles. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not gonna go for any of that. As soon as I see you start dribbling three or four times, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna defensively play you straight up and I'm not moving until you actually move a foot. So keep that in mind as a defensive player. If a player tries to try and break your ankles over and over and over again and tries to do some kind of crazy move on you, let them. He's overly exerting his ability to play by just trying to break your ankles because he wants to get to the rim. What you should be doing on offense is deliberate two, maximum three dribble moves. You want to be able to get from here to the basket in under two dribbles. Now, it's okay to actually set up a player to start doing some crossovers to try and see which way he wants to try and force you. Because if he's trying to force you one way, well then that's just an easy attack. If he starts trying to force you this way, when you're doing crossovers and not overly exerting yourself on offense, well what's gonna happen there is just simple attack that side that he's got his uh, upper foot on and you're gonna have an easy basket. You obviously have to attack quickly but one or two dribbles, that's all it should take to get to that rim. Now, you don't need any fancy moves, but some of these moves that I really like to use up at the perimeter, one-on-one, -on -one, either in game or in a one-on-one -on -one game, is obviously you get your check, and that's just to do a straight up shot. If he's not defending me, I've got a good enough shot to know that if he's standing back two feet, I can get that up. So that's what I would just do. I would get that check back. And I would look at him. I wouldn't dribble yet. I would kind of get it in my mind like, hey, like I'm gonna aim for that net. And if he's not guarding me, I'm gonna jack that shot up. Now, if he's playing me a bit tighter, 
what I would like to do is for me, I don't attack the rim all that much anymore. I've had some knee surgeries and I'm too afraid of attacking the rim and getting clobbered. So what I like to do here, if they're playing me a bit tighter, is maybe do a shot fake if I've already taken a few shots and made them and now that's why he's playing me tighter. Maybe do a quick jab step, act like I'm gonna go and attack that way. Draw back if he, if he took it, I'll take that shot. And then I'll add on to that. I'll get that ball, jab step. If he didn't go far enough back, then I would go one dribble, step back, and I would take that shot. Now these are all moves that you can do if you wanna try and get perimeter shots, if you're too afraid of attacking somebody who might clobber you. Now, same moves technically can apply if you're trying to beat them off the dribble and get into the rim. Same thing, jab step, if he goes, attack the opposite direction. Another option is when you get that ball, you can go a quick jab, attack, cross, and then you can go the other direction but these are all super simple moves. You don't want to overly exert yourself on the offense. You want to score, but if you've got a good enough shot and a good enough one to two dribble moves and just add in a little bit of a fake up top, you're going to be able to get to that rim. Now, when you get closer to the rim and let's say you were driving right on him and he's right on your hip. There's two moves that you could really do down here if he's still on your hip and you haven't totally broken him and he's not left way back there. Number one is just a quick hop step into him or in front of him, get him behind your back, you have an open layup, easy. Another option is if he is just a bit in front of you, so he's still trying to cut you off and he's like right here, what you can do is just a quick spin move to the middle and you've got yourself an open basket and he can't block you there because if you go up with that spin move and you're here, you put up your hand and you go up for your shot, well this mesh right there is in, your way, in that defender's way and he's not gonna be able to block your shot because his hand's gonna get caught up in that mesh. So first move, just very simple, hop step in front or beside him and go up for that shot. And then the other option, if he's just a bit in front of you, is to just spin off and go up for that shot. Now I hope that these moves and these strategies help you become a better one-on-one -on -one basketball player. If they do, hit that like button, subscribe. I'll see you guys again next time.